1788, King George entered the 28th year of his glorious reign. I wish you the best of health, Father. Wish me, wish me. You wish me death, you plump little cuckoo. <laughs> it was an age of nobility. Mrs. King. Mr. King. A time of harmony. You're a good little woman, Mrs. King, and we have been happy. It was a monarchy destined to endure. Stop! Long live the king! But destiny would have to wait. We are in company. Mind your own business. He was all powerful. If your majesty would just lift your leg. And the king, you lift my leg. All knowing. They're now called the United States. Goodness me. What the fuck? But he wasn't quite all there. Hello there, Georgie boy. I want you to hand over Gibraltar to Spain and see if you can get Minorca in return. You're a physician, sir. Well, then you should have no difficulty. What would happen if the king were ill? Her Royal Highness would have to be declared regent. King in all but name. Is he ill? Well, he's not well. His majesty is just a man. His majesty is out of his mind. It's unthinkable. Do you think that you are mad? I hear the words, so I have to speak. I was given to understand you might be able to cure his majesty. Well, I can cure him, Mr. Pitt. I'm just not sure what from. I make the weather by means of mental powers. The king is incapacitated. If a few colonists in America can send him packing, why can't we? He is to rule in your place. By whose authority? Now is the time, Charles! Give us the wisdom of America. From the award-winning director of Miss Saigon, the Samuel Goldwyn Company presents a story. It was something he ate. About a time of grace, grandeur, and the delicate balance of power. <laughs> Smiling, babe. It's what you're paid for. The madness of King George. How is your majesty? Fat lot, you care. God save the king. And, uh, so on.